Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and they bring the word and doctrine. Shalom, I mean peace, may that be into the elect of the nation of Israel. So in 2 Samuel 3 and 1, now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David works stronger and stronger and the house of Saul works weaker and weaker. And we believe this is what we're seeing. And they will say, lip service is all I can perceive it to be. Because you're saying the Heavenly Father has power over the plagues. You know, and this man, E, is the devil. But anyway, take this devil juice. Right? Take his solution. <laughs> it's soluble. It's the solution for a solution. Now, if the Heavenly Father is in control of it all, why are we not praying? Why are we not fasting? Now, why is that not the... Why is that not the the correct way to go about things, which it is. But why is it not being proclaimed by these other groups? How is it that you prayed for the plagues and then you get in it, oh, test it, oh, wait, hold on a minute. I know to say it's unrighteous or you're wicked for checking your temperature. No, don't get it twisted. And if you've got a job, you know, you turn up and you have to insert forehead here and get yourself scanned before you go into work. Yeah, cool. But the fact you're doing it on camera like putting that as the image of the ministry and then saying you pray for the plagues knowing what the the top guy there teaches you know, that takes the thing well if the heavenly father's got power over the plagues why are you trusting this man E who you say correctly is the devil and why are you trusting him to come and fix it all how does that make sense how does that correlate so let's get Cyrac. 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So again, understanding that he's in control of all these things. What are you worried for? Right, you'll say that it's um, we that are worried. We that are in the spirit of fear. Because <laughs> we're taking scriptural advice, which is Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust an enemy, for like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Right, you'll say, yeah, I know he was wicked. Yeah, I know he did this. I know what the Germans did here. But anyway, take the thing. That doesn't make sense. That's the spirit of fear. Because you're ultimately not trusting in the Heavenly Father to redeem you or um, deliver you from the situation you find yourself in and we find ourselves in. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. What you see in these, well, this specific group, the leaking oil, and not only choosing the ways, but promoting them like they are the ways of life. They are not the ways of life, they are the ways of death. <clears throat> this is Malachi 3 and 16. The they that feared Yahweh spake off from one to another. And how are we doing that through these E epistles? And we're not talking <laughs> that the man E. You know, electronic epistles through this YouTube, ultimately. And we're not doing... We're not creeping in DMs on Twitter. That's not necessarily how the word's getting pushed out. The main work, the bulk of it has been done. And the highways and hedges, and then uploaded onto the YouTube. Then the sit-downs through, throughout the week. You know, so however your schedule's set up. And yeah, we're doing the sit-downs, we're going out, we're proclaiming, all these things. Malachi 3.16 Then they that feared Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, spake often one to another. And Yahweh hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him, for them that feared Yahweh, and that thought upon his name. Wherein his name is his name. It goes deeper, you know, the reputation, the fame. Right, that's that word sham in Hebrew. 
that's what it means, but the name as well, the literal name as well, because that's what you have there. And if you're called, um, if you're called Simon, and I call you pussy all, right, you're not going to like that. And that's just you as a man. What level are you on compared to the Heavenly Father? So you need to come correct with that as well. I mean, they're not necessarily all of his, all of our thoughts are his thoughts. Yeah, they're much different, but that's one thing that translates, right? The Heavenly Father likes you to get his name correct. That's why he's doing it for his name's sake. He's redeeming his elect. Lord, wouldn't that be us? For his name's sake. So let's not neglect that or play it down like that's some light thing. Verse 17, and they shall be mine, saith Yahweh, Tazabah, Tazabah, meaning of hosts, of the... Not armies, I'm looking for another word, another synonym to better explain that. Host, army. Oh, yeah, that'll do. And they shall be mine, saith the hour of hosts, in the day when I make my jewels, and I will spare them. As a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Why is that? Because the, the, the elect, or all Israel, are the sons of the power. And that's what it means, Yasharala. He is a prince. Prince is a what? A son of a king. He is a prince of the power. Right? But not all Israel is Israel. So not all of the bloodline, Yasharala, are being princes of the power at this point. They'll be in the kingdom from man. On down, I mean, man, woman, and child, all the Israelites will be righteous. And we can't wait for that time, but in this time, we have to endure folly like this. And the, the Lord created plagues, but anyway, take the thing. And we prayed for the plagues, but anyway, we're taking the thing. So you prayed for a plague, and now you're seeking your adversary, your enemy, biblically your enemy, to get you out of it. It's fucking folly. Malachi 3.18 Then she return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and him that serveth him not. Right? Not everyone that says that they're an Israelite is going to have it. <coughs> you have to remember, some, they're not serving Yahweh Shai, they're serving rather their um, belly. And just because he's got a garment on, they might have a, a larger following than someone that's sincere. Or someone that's sincere may have a larger following. But it's not to get distracted and caught up on numbers or gimmicks or games. It's about this doctrine. Okay. And there's one doctrine. There's many doctrines, but one is correct. Romans 17, sorry, Romans 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Now I say it might be a good word, a so-called good word, that you know, we've been looking into this science, this medical, uh, physicians and their value, and science falsely so-called can be positioned to you as this will redeem you, this will be the good thing. You know, they're so, quote-unquote good words. Fair speeches, Fair really means delightsome, you know, good to look on, handsome. If you see a, <laughs> today you might see a bad, a bit, is she bad? Right, in the ancient world you say she's fair. Not really ancient world, you know, really older, older English. You know, so fair is like attractive, attractive speeches to them. Like the guy, I can't remember who it was that came on my, oh, you, a oh, power, powerful speech, but like, um, like it's, a, like it's enjoyable, right? You can have that on the left and the right. You can have them that view it as they're enjoyable, but really it's, it's sound. And them that view it as sound, and really it's just entertainment. But we'll see in, in that time when it's all said and done. I mean, what? When the, the prophecies are spake and they're all done, when they're all complete, fulfilled. So Ezekiel 33, 31 and down. And they come... Unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, 
and they hear thy, thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them, as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice, that you are a great speaker, brother. And lo, thou art like un and lo, thou art unto them, as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, like it will come, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. And you know, we will see when all this is said and done, because not all these groups, you know, like we're talking about serving your own belly, not all these groups are talking about the, the better things, so-called. Okay, the things that are still yet to come, the affliction, the persecution. And when they're talking about you know, booster seats, you, know, you need to put this booster seat in your car for the max. To get the maximum out of your car, <laughs> you need to put a booster seat in it. Right, if you if you know what I'm saying, right, concerning the max, 